Hey guys, wanted to show you a project I'm working on. It's, uh, it's going to be a survival walking stick. And uh, I'm not quite sure what wood this is. I think it might be elm. Um, it's a softer wood, it might be maple too. Um, but right now, I'm uh, doing the final sanding on it. I hit it with a, a rough, uh, coarse sandpaper. Now I'm just uh, finishing up with a, a finer one. I'm gonna have a uh, survival knife handle on the end. I'll show you that here in a second. So. The only tools that I used on this um, is just a handsaw and a more knife and a, a couple files, wood files, some sandpaper. But here's the handle. Give you guys a close up of the handle. This is um, off an old survival knife. It's hollow in there, got some threads. Um, the top comes off. Has a compass in there. So, I'll show you guys what I've done to the stick so far. So, I cut it about to the length there. I had to decide how deep to put the stick in here and still have some room for the uh, contents of the, the handle. Now this isn't the best survival handle, but uh, I think it'll be pretty cool when I get done. What I've done here on the end is just uh, carved and sanded and filed down this so it threads into the th bottom threads of the, uh, the handle here. That will thread right down in there and then I will epoxy that in there. But then after I get the handle set in there, So from the bottom of the handle to down about here is going to be paracord wrap, um, which should give uh, about that much of space in there for a fire starter, fishing kit, things like that. Now once I get the sanded down, I'm going to stain it, and uh, one thing I'm going to have to do that I did on my other stick is um, this one cracked too. So what I'm going to do next is uh, fill this in after I get it sanded with my final sand. and. Um, let that dry, sand that some more so that's smooth. This is going to have that uh, flex seal up to about here for the bottom. And uh, 
hopefully this thing will turn out pretty cool. So, just got a little bit of this uh, Gorilla wood glue and uh, a syringe here. Some wood glue in it. So it comes out all right. Last time it didn't want to come out of there very well. Got the shakes. got it all filled up well I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this um, I can't tell on here but uh, I filled the crack in with a syringe and the wood glue and now the only thing left to do is to let it dry overnight and then I'll take a file to it and some sandpaper then I might have to put more in it. Just depends on if I have any air bubbles up in there. Well, you can, I don't even know if you can see that. There we go, a little bit better. So. So I got the handle put on and I used uh, this Gorilla Glue Epoxy and I'll tell you what man, that thing is on there. I tried wrenching it off and everything and it's, uh, it's seated on there really good. So, man. So, got the wrap to do, but um, got that flex seal on here, and uh, this is, it's still a little soft right now, it's dry, but it's soft, and so that will just harden up more as it goes. Um, <clears throat> but what I got left here to do is do the wrap right here. And I'm trying to decide on a color. Uh, posted it, everybody give me some suggestions, but I kind of want something blingy, something bright, you know. Uh, it's supposed to be a survival stick, so. Um, I'm thinking about like an orange reflective paracord for the wrap right here. And then. Uh, once I get the wrap done, then I'm going to make some type, I'm getting rid of this right here. This is just some cheap cord. But I'll do the same wrap here, or the same color paracord here. And then start working on putting the contents in the... Uh, survival kit there. It should be done.
guys here's the finished product um, only thing I really have to do is put the contents in here um, but this is going to be fire starters fishing line hooks and things like that <clears throat> did the wrap with reflective paracord blaze orange and then the same with the wrist lanyard here I think it turned out pretty good here's a closer look um, did this clip on here and the wrap and a counter sunk on there Got it all stained and uh, coating on the bottom turned out nice. And so, yeah, there it is. Finished product. Thanks for watching, and uh, this has been a, a really fun project.